Hey there, it's Catherine with Crafting with Catherine. I just wanted to pop in and share a little video um, using the new sunglasses to stamp set. And this is frames for sunglasses. So I wanted to show you how I was gonna make a shaker card with this. So I used my inside piece, the sunglasses, the frame, and I've cut it out of foam. This is the foam that Stamps of Life sells. It comes in sheets of, I think it's six by six. Um, and it cuts beautifully. This was one pass through my, through my machine. Um, it came through beautifully. Um, now, if you want a thicker sunglasses, you could do two together, which I'm probably gonna do to get enough room to have some shake, shake, shake. So let me put this down and then I'll come back. Okay, so you can see I've got a nice thick base um, and it's, it's pretty close. It's not perfection, um, but I've stamped this and die cut this, I die cut this and stamped it. It's pretty close. Um, your foam will flatten a little bit. So you can just kind of take your time adding stuff. All right, so I want to add, there's a star that's included in the kit. I'm gonna add, um, before I put my shaker bits in, I'm going to add a couple of stars. And you're going to want to let those dry pretty good before you start shaking all your stuff in. Okay, that's cute. All right, so I've got that, and I'm going to eventually put this on here, but i got to add my insides. Now, let those dry good. I'm just going to move on. I made um, a little bit of a shaker mix from, this is just a stash. You know, if you craft, you have lots of little stuff. So that's just some stuff I had. Um, but you, these would be perfect that are in the die set, the companion die set that cut out your, that cut out the um, lenses. So there are a couple of companion sets that work really well together. Anyway, so these make the cutest little stars. And if you ran that through a couple of times, you'd have some great things to fill with and you could pick any color you wanted. So I am going to go ahead and add some in here. Oops, okay, I forgot one thing. You wanna add something on the edge. Okay, you can use cornstarch. Um, there are probably some other products. I just kind of go around my edge just a little bit. It's just a powder that kind of helps it from sticking so much. So I might have a little more sticking in this, this one since I forgot, but it just, because you have a little bit of sticky on the side. Oop, that might be too much. But we're gonna try it um, on this size. Okay, so let me move this. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I cut out an acetate, my outer, this big wide outer edge. So I am going to just kinda eyeball this. And I'm going to cut around this. Okay, so be sure and take your time. I just kind of rough cut it, but I missed a couple of edges, so that stinks a little bit. Um, but you get the idea. So you just want to trim it a little bit smaller than the inside of your, and if you cut the other one, hold on, Oop, I'm all over this one, hang on. You can see I got most of it. And this is gonna keep it in but so will that this foam piece because I'm going to lay it on top. Okay. Okay. 
Now you're going to let that dry. And then you're going to make any adjustments you need to make. I need to trim just a little bit here. So now we're going to add a little bit of glue here. And again, you'll be much more careful than me. You know, when you do a video, it's like, ah, oh, you're trying to get it just so. Anyway. Oh, I would, it would help if I peeled this off. So now we're going to peel off this top piece. And pray that our little things stay in there, which I think they might. That's the beauty of card making. Perfection is not the main requirement. It's the effort, isn't it? Okay, so there you go. You got a fun little shaker. All right. Okay, so I'm going to finish the card, so stay with me.